15 slam and secrets of saved the last dance, no need to see your way out of this A and B conversation. With the Julia Stiles teenage dance film marking its 23rd anniversary, we're reliving all of Save the Last Dance's best moves. Facts, if you ever slipped on a leotard in tights in the mid to late 90s, there's a solid chance you either wanted to be like center stage's Jody Sawyer, or Zoe Saldana's Eva Rodriguez, TBH, our vote for the best goddamn dancer in the American Ballet Academy, or Sarah. Johnson, the Chicago ballerina with big Juilliard dreams. Made during Julia Stiles' successful teen movie run, which coincided with her modern retelling of a popular William Shakespeare play phase, 2001 Save the Last Dance, which drops suburban Sarah into an inner-city Chicago high school, where she finds love with Sean Patrick Thomas's Derek, spent two weeks at the top of the box office, propelling then-Columbia University freshman styles to the heights of ubiquity. She collected MTV awards for Best Kiss and Best Female Performance and a Teen Choice Trophy for Best Fight Scene thanks to her face-off with her new guy's ex, Bianca Lawson, at CPPS, the must-attend club that ain't no square dance but is certainly lax on regulating fake IDs. Styles also scored a gig hosting Saturday Night Live on a Rolling Stone cover, the mag declaring her the coolest co-ed. Though for all that success in the film's $27.5 million opening weekend box office haul, we'd be remiss if we didn't point out that it feels more than a bit problematic when viewed through a 2024 prism. As the black characters struggle with poverty, teenage parenthood, and gang violence, privileged fish out of water Sarah connects with Thomas's Derek, a senior with Georgetown ambitions who happens to be the sole black male in the film with a promising future. And when their interracial love is challenged, Sarah is painted as a victim, glossing over the other characters' very real beef with the situation. But the MTV film's release did gift us with plenty of dance numbers to spend hours memorizing, a solid soundtrack. Pink's You Make Me Sick, Ice Cube's You Can Do It, KCI and JoJo's Crazy, and the valuable lesson that we should never leave RSC on the floor. Plus, it introduced the world to an unknown Kerry Washington as Derek's sister Chenille, who challenged Sarah when she brushed off any mention of her inherent white privilege by boldly declaring, there's only one world. One world, Chenille. As Chenille put it, that's what they teach you. We know different. So there are plenty of parts that are still slamming. And with the anniversary of the January 12th release upon us, and the fresh memories of Styles' recent Saturday Night Live cameo, we're ready to dust off our best SAPPS worthy moves and dance in circles. Probably around you. Here's everything you may have forgotten about the 2001 flick. <laughs>